we uh, we on the ground after him today. I've uh, come across a pretty good pretty good uh, group of water oaks. There's like I don't know. There's probably five of them right there, small trees, but they all got a lot of sign under them right here. They uh, doing some logging across over there. I hope it ain't messing me up, but. There's fresh droppings, fresh sign, and they've been logging for a week or two, so maybe we'll be all right. I expect to see some critters right here this evening. The wind is pretty decent right now. It should set back here, and right there is where my critters are at. I'm on the I'm on the south side, the south side of my where I think my shot's going to be at. Sitting in a good, comfortable ground blind. If I fall, it'll be just right there. I fall asleep, fall out of the chair. I really uh, look forward to hunting like this, getting better at it. And hopefully today, I mean, this, this is a tough time of year. It's November around here, but these deer around my house are hunted hard. And uh, Or I say around my house here in the management areas I hunt. And I don't know. I've, uh, we'll probably shoot one just short as it comes in here. I expect it'll be at the most a 15 yard shot. A 15 yard shot will be long. I have one plot place right here where there's some droppings where they've been feeding around right here that's not even 10 yards. And it's thick to my right. If I can see them coming, I expect them to come from my right. And if I can see them coming and get ready, I might can shoot one right here about seven or eight yards. And uh, they could come behind me right here. There's a there's a big water oak over here. I've killed uh, deer on several deer on that water oak climbing years ago. It didn't do nothing this year. But uh, I was actually came in here to check it and came through these oaks here, and they 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 look good. So I'm gonna sit back. Got my Howard Hill longbow, my Great Northern Hill style longbow. Got some wood arrows, Douglas fir arrows, my buddy Ethan Persons made and gave me. And I got old Wenzel Woodsman on there. We'll see what we can do. Y'all hang out with me. Alrighty guys, this will be short and sweet here. Got me a little six point here off the ground and I couldn't have hit him no better. I was shooting uh, wood air my good friend Ethan Pearson's made for me. First, and uh, he gave me as a gift. He had came down hunting with Chris and I, with Chris uh, a couple years ago and we got to be friends. And he gave me a dozen of these arrows he made himself. And the first one I shot at an animal couldn't have been much better. Went slap through him, shot him with a Windsor Woodsman, and the arrow was laying 10 yards on the other side of him. Beautiful little six point. I'm tickled. I'm not a trophy hunter. I was on the ground. I shot him at nine yards and uh, hunting some water oaks there. I had two little birds. It was getting about deer time, and I didn't hear no deer coming, but they was two little brown wrens flying all into me, <laughs> and they was messing me up. And I had lost focus on listening and uh, was getting ready to swat them like mosquitoes. 
And uh, anyway, I look up and this buck's standing there at, at like 12, 15 yards walking towards me. And I, I couldn't begin, I couldn't fool with the camera. It was to my right. And there's no way I could have been reaching, fooling with the camera. So uh, when he got sideways there, I come on back and made the shot. He might have ran 30 yards in a loop. He fell 15, 20 yards from the chair I was sitting in. I was sitting in my old metal Walmart chair and uh, got my kill suit on, face painted up a little bit, and uh, my Northern Miss Hill style uh, classic right here. And then uh, first time I've hunted uh, with this quiver Donnie Wilkerson made, this uh, Creek Walker quiver. It's got the big grips in it and it fit my wood arrows just right. He sent me some uh, ones for carbons and I'm so glad I didn't change it now. So uh, thank you Donnie for this quiver. Thank you Ethan for those arrows. And uh, fine bow right here. Thank you good Lord for a fine day. Good shot, good humane kill. And I know this is bloody and on YouTube I won't be able to monetize this video but I do not care I wanted to share with you guys uh, my ground hunting success we've been talking about ground hunting hunting to win all that sort of thing I climbed on the south side of, of three or four little oaks right there and uh, it could it worked out just like you know it don't do that all the time but it worked out just as perfect as it could this time so uh, I'm proud to get this deer I'm shooting that bow's about 47 pounds at my draw length 66 inches long and the arrows I, I looked at my scales wrong last night I thought they weighed 700 grains they actually weigh 600 grains but still that's a pretty stout arrow for for no more pounds than that is and you can see what happened a three blade broadhead went out the other side was at least five ten yards on the other side of the deer thank you Lord I got some work and normally I would bone this deer out right here where I'm at but I have walked for days and found two places that are hot enough to climb on or, or hunt, you know, I hunted this one on the ground. And uh, man, I hate to mess it up. It, it won't mess the deer up, the carcass and all, but it'll drive, drag buzzards in and coyotes and, and uh, the good will be gone out of this tree, you know, in just a week or two. So I got to, you know, if I'm gonna hunt it, I'll need to hunt it again next week. So with that said, there's some work. I'm 200 yards from the truck. I'm gonna drag him at least halfway to the truck, probably 250 yards, and then uh, bone him out right there. All right. Thank you, Lord, for an outstanding day. Good friends, good health, and a good wife that lets me do this stuff. Thank you, Miss Tammy. See y'all on the next one.